So welcome or welcome back to my channel. One of the first videos I created in 2021 was about me getting out of my own way and just uploading videos that I enjoy making, editing, filming, all that good jazz. And I also spoke about how there were a couple of videos last year that I made, finished, even made thumbnails for and never uploaded. So this, my friends, is one of those videos. I hope you enjoy. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are specifically going to be talking about the Dollar General Saturday 5 off of 25 coupon. Now, if you do not understand how to find coupon deals in the app, go watch this video right here. I'll link it right here and in the description that I already created because you're not gonna understand where I'm finding these deals from if you don't watch that video or if you don't already know. And I'm not covering it in this video. I'm basically covering the strategy on how to make your own five off of $25 general Saturday deal. Let's get into the video right now. Well, as I sat here getting ready to film my Dollar General weekly deal, I started looking at the deal and looking at the coupons and I realized in my heart of hearts, I could not go do this deal on a Tuesday. Why? Because literally I could save an extra $5 with the things I was already going to get if I did this deal on a Saturday. But I didn't just want to show you the Saturday deal. I wanted to teach you how to make your own Saturday deal. You see, if you give a man a fish, you can feed him for a day. But if you teach the man the fish, you can feed him for a lifetime. Meaning, I can show you this five off a 25 deal and you'll save a lot this Saturday. But if I teach you how to do it on your own, you can save tons every Saturday. So the Dollar General Saturday deal, I look at it more like a game, a very strategic number game. The objective of this game is to get your total to $25 before coupons and before tax. Now, in order to get that number down from $25, you're going to make sure that you are picking items that have coupons attached to them. Almost every item that you pick needs to have a coupon attached to it so you can get that number down once your coupons are added. So it looks a little something like this. These Bic razors are priced at $5. There is a $3 coupon. These Tampax Pearls are $4. There is a $2 coupon. So the strategy really is making sure that the items that you are buying have a coupon attached to them because those coupons and that five off of 25 because you hit the $25 threshold will all come off at the same time. And after all the strategic stuff is in place, your game plan should look a little bit like this. Our total is $25.15 and that is before coupons or tax. So when you add up all of the coupon savings, including that five off of 25, your total amount saved will be $17. So $17 off of that $25 threshold brings us to the new total of $8.15 before tax. That's right. So you see, our strategy is great and it works and all, but just like anything in life, there are certain guidelines you have to abide by in order for this strategy to work. You still need to be able to reach that $25 threshold after instant savings and store discounts are taken off. Here is an example. These Tresemme items are $4 each. So there is a $2 instant savings when you buy two. So you're gonna buy one shampoo, one conditioner for $4. Your total will be $8. Then that $2 instant savings kicks in. So the only amount that goes towards that $25 threshold is the $6 you will pay after the instant savings is tallied in. To the best of my knowledge, buy one get one free sales are considered a store discount. In this example, you are buying two air fresheners and getting one free. So you will actually bring up three to the register, but the price of one will come off of your total because Dollar General is giving it to you for free. 
and the explanation behind this is you're going to buy three and that equals three dollars since you are getting one free from dollar general because you're only purchasing two and getting one free only the two that you are paying for will be applied towards that $25 threshold. As you can see, things can get a little bit tricky, so my best advice is just to keep it simple. That is what I do. These high value coupons will be your best friend. Example, these Bic razors are $5. There is a $3 off digital coupon that will make it $2 after the coupon. However, that whole $5 goes towards that $25 threshold, even though after your digital coupon, you will only be paying $2. Just a hypothetical example, if you bought five of these Bic razors, your total would be $25. But if you attach a high value coupon to each of those razors, you're taking $15 off that $25 total. So because that $15 was taken off, your new total is $10. And after you add the five off of 25, your new new total will be just $5. The moral of this story or example is high value coupons are your friends, especially with Saturday deals. I know all of this sounds a little scary, but if you use the app to plan your list, you clip the coupons in the app, you go to the store, you buy the items from your list, and when you put your phone number in, it'll all come off at the register. You have to do nothing but clip the coupons digitally and buy the items. That's it, it all happens at the register. If this video was at all helpful, please give it a like. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below, I do answer. And if you like stuff like this, or you wanna help your girl out, Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It is completely free. Until next time, y'all. Bye-bye.